If there is a fire, we want to know where the fire is as fast as possible. Optimizing time means uh, eventually saving lives. Our duty is to make sure that the population is safe. We are in a world where the knowledge is so huge. We need to put all our knowledge together and we need to be creative. We want a collection of tools that in the end support the users to do their job. The most common hazards we deal with are ones caused by people, but some of the most challenging ones we face are to do with wildfires, floods, landslides, other natural disasters. The emergencies they are much more frequent, they are much more common, but also we have new emergencies that countries never faced before. The communication and collaboration efforts in these situations between different organizations, also cross-country, are immense. It is important to have a proper share, a proper sharing of information. Each organization has a different way of approaching a given problem. Typically, different tools are being used. Instead, we need a unified tool and, more importantly, a unified approach to this situation. Heimdall is a management tool for multi-hazard disasters for stakeholders like firefighters, police, emergency medical services and civil protection. Heimdall is for all the users that are involved into crisis management. It is a collection of tools with a single user interface. The system is a fully digitalized platform where they can follow the evolution of the crisis and then accordingly take the proper decision and it is capable of exploiting a large variety of data. And we have different sources of data. We use Earth observation data in order to perform an impact assessment based on the imagery taken from satellites. When we get large incidents such as floods, the information we get from Heimdall, the map-based information in particular, is extremely useful. We see literally the roads that are damaged, the buildings that are damaged, do I need to go there? Is that a residential building or is that an industrial building also helps a lot? It allows us to see where we can send resources to that will be safe, the best route in to the incident, and where people will have the highest need of assistance from the fire service. Another source it is drones. We are having a swarm of drones patrolling over an area in order to detect hotspots. After a forest fire, there are still some points at hot points that could reignite, which implies that if firefighters are able to identify those hot points as fast as possible, this will reduce the risk of having, again, a very large wildfire. So what we develop in Heinland, which is very new, is a possibility to search for hot spots within an area with a swarm of autonomous drones. The firefighters can select what is the area of interest and then after that there is an algorithm that does the rest of the work. The drones will automatically fly following a route that was calculated by the system. Meanwhile, the end user will be able to visualize an RGB image. This can help firefighters to see through the eyes of the drones. And in addition, firefighters will be able to see thermal images, which represent what is the temperature of each pixel. So this way, firefighters will be able to identify, for example, hotspots, because they will have a much higher temperature. We are talking about hotspots which are 15 centimeter size, so these are the ones that we are able to identify with drones. And it is not only that, because we have data coming from in-situ sensors, so sensors located in an area where, for instance, terrain movement is likely to happen, and these detect the movement and then the possibility of landslides happening soon. This data must be also made available to the first responders. So we have a mobile phone application, and through that we can have bi-directional communication. So from the headquarters, 
to send information to the people in the field and from the field operator to send information back to the headquarters. And you want to know what happened in the past in the same region with the same conditions. A scenario matching tool provides the users with information on historic similar situations. Eventually, all this data could be used as trigger of simulators. We have three types of simulators, forest fire, landslide and flood simulators. They get forecasts from the weather, for example, and in case of a forest fire, we are entering this data into the forest fire simulation together with the terrain. And then we can say, OK, if we have a hotspot here, when we have an ignition point and with these weather parameters, how is the incident going to evolve? That kind of prediction helps us a lot. If we have a prediction of what's going to happen next 10 hours, 12 hours, we can see also how we can move our resources. You will be able to do your actions without to endanger your people. All these different modules create a chain of steps that support the users to make decisions that are going to save lives in the end. So we are moving all these protocols and procedures and emergency plans to a screen and it's much easier to share it with your own organization or even with other organizations in different places. Heimdall allows us to make decisions that are cross-cutting across all the agencies, um, give us the same information, allow us to see how we can support each other. Uh, so it brings an awful lot of benefits for that joint working, which is absolutely essential for large incidents.